Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I am doing my drizzle, but I'm doing it on a 10 by 20 canvas. And um, I have 18 colors. People, get ready. I have 18 different colors no for wonder, this canvas. No wonder you were up here all morning. Okay, my first one, I have Dragon Fire and Passion Fruit. And these two colors do not look like they go together, but they are beautiful. Now, now wait a minute, no. Uh, you got to let them know which ones are I will. pigments. And I will. They're all color art pigments. They're all color art primary element pigments. So this is Dragon Fire Passion Fruit color art pigment. This is a new one that I uh, haven't put in before, but I thought, why not throw it in? It's Brilliant Green by Amsterdam. This is Pearl Rose Quartz and Pearl Papaya. And I was looking more for a coral color. So I mixed these two together, and that is Arteza. Vavoom Red Pigment, color art pigment. Sunflower and Pixie Dust, color art pigment. This one is Passion Fruit, Raspberry Wine, Watermelon Mist, color art pigment. This I concocted, it's Iridescent Green Yellow by PBO with 24 karat gold deco art. Crimson Red by Arteza. This is light rose uh, and azo orange, and I wanted kind of like a tangerine color. Oh, yeah. This one is Autumn Skies and Mermaid Scales pigment color art. My last one is Blue Violet by Amsterdam. So. I think you've gone overboard on this one. It's either going to be, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know what we're going to get. You've got some beautiful colors made up, so this should be, this should be something. Oh, it's going to be something, all right, Phil. So, I mean, hang on to your seat. It's either going to be really, really good, or it's going to be, I don't know. I, gotta, I guess I have to do my magic. So, we're going to start out with the drizzle. And it's going to be dragon fire and passion fruit. Like Phil said, I was... I was up here for hours. I mean, I made 23 different containers of colors yesterday. The rest are all sitting right there. So we're gonna see everybody what's gonna happen. You never know. You know me, I just can't go with one color. Well, I think the, the uh... The drizzle, swipe, wreck, spin pours you've done, it seems like really the more colors you use, the cooler they come out. Well, for me, they come out. I guess it's just my magic. People, you know, are commenting and go, you, you, you have magic, Kathy. Mine doesn't look like that. You have magic. I go, well, I cast a spell on my <laughs> canvases. One thing I do have to say is you do have to use the same products as Kathy, Kathy uses in order to get the same brilliant results. Now, this is just my opinion, okay? Other products do work, but uh, Kathy has found that using the paints and pigments that she prefers uh, seems to give her the results that, that she likes. A lot of brilliant colors, and, and the colors stay, stay bright once they're dried and either resin or varnished. So that's, that's again, that's just my opinion, but if you're looking for results. Um, you, ha you have to have, you have to use what I use or you're, you're not gonna get the results that I get, especially with the cell activator. You need to use the Amsterdam black. You can use the lamp black. You can use the oxide black. You can use the, there's plenty of blacks that Amsterdam has. Um, you need to use the Amsterdam. Amsterdam is where it's at in my CA. So, end of that speech. But I mean, it's, you just have to keep practicing. Uh, practice makes perfect. And don't be afraid to mix your colors, people. Just don't be afraid to mix them. Because you're going, you're going to get beautiful creations. Just mix. It's only paint. If you don't like 
that color in your creation, take it out the next time or tweak it. You know, if it's too dark, tweak it with a lighter one. Like I wanted a tangerine today. I mix those two paints, just like this pearl rose quartz and pearl papaya. I wanted to have more of like a pinkish coral. That's what I did. You just have to mix them and see what happens. If you don't like it, throw in something else. I mean, this one pigment, I have three different pigments in it. And I'm not, I don't want to imply that everything that Kathy does works out um, to the nicest degree. I mean, there are certainly times where she has to scrape her canvas just like everybody else and, and start over because uh, something didn't work right or the cell activator wasn't quite right or or the coloration she was looking for wasn't up to, you know, her standards and so forth. So uh, it doesn't always work. And like Phil can tell you, I make a new cell activator every time I do a creation. Yes. Every time. I don't let my cell activator sit for more than a day and a half. That's the most. Um, well, it's such an important part of your process. It is. That... Um, if you're not getting the cells, it defeats the whole purpose of of the painting, really. And I mean, it, it's just a little container that you have to um, make. So, I mean... Yeah, usually don't waste very much at all, really. No. But these are, this is the container. This is my cell activator. That's it. So, and if you make it, if you make a new one every day, well, just don't use it for more than two days because then you're pushing it. Okay, this is my 24 karat gold and my green yellow. And it's, you know, it's so disappointing when you get done to the part where you're using the cell activator and... It doesn't and work. <laughs> is not working as well as you would like and you sort of continue on hoping that it's going to improve and and sometimes it doesn't so fresh activator is really really important yeah and i mean i learned that the hard way i mean there was a couple times when i let it sit for a couple days and it just didn't respond to like i wanted it to so This is the red, crimson red, so I'm going to see what comes of this. So this is the drizzle technique that Kathy uses. And it kind of just shows you that she puts paint all over the canvas of different colors. Not too much of any one color in any one spot. You don't want big blobs of any one color. And like that want, red one. <laughs> well, yeah, that's something you don't really want, but it should be okay. We'll get rid of that. And, um, but you don't want the whole canvas completely covered where you can't see any of the uh, white under under the paint. You want you do want spaces. This is that new coral. Yes, pretty cool. That I made. Oh, okay. We're almost done. We're getting there. This is the autumn skies, and oh, this is the mermaid scales. This is really pretty. I love these two together. And these are the color art pigments again. You kind of busted my bubble. I just didn't think mermaids had scales. Mermaids have scales. There's no such thing as a mermaid. Yes, there is. Oh, okay. No, I, oh, that's right. They have uh, their best friend as unicorns. Yeah, you got to believe okay, in I the mermaids. See. I believe in them. It's just kind of it's a bummer they have scales. Well, that's to keep the <laughs> unicorn off them. <laughs> Unicorns can be pretty, you know. Yeah, they can get pretty feisty. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So. Got to watch out for that horn. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to be going on to the swiping. We're going to see what happens here. I might actually put a little bit more coloration around the edge here. Otherwise, when I swipe, there's not going to be... I don't put too much of any 
Okay. All right. No, I'm going to be going okay. with more. All right. So you don't have to worry about it, Phil. I think that's good. No, it ain't good. It's not good. Okay. <laughs> the boss says it's not good. No, because I, I really don't just like the white with the black. I, I know. You do? You should know me by now, Phil. <laughs> you know, whenever I say I'm good, what happens? Well. It's never good enough, right? You you see something you don't like and you fix it. So. Right. Okay. So, I think I can see a bubble, though. If you notice, everybody, today I'm wearing gloves because I've had so much paint on my hands lately <laughs> that my hands hurt. So I'm back with the gloves. Not that I like the gloves, but I gotta let my hands a stop bit. hurting. And I mixed so many paints yesterday that I feel like my thumb's out of joint. But that's okay too. I got those done for a little while, so that's okay. All right, we're going on to the swiping now, Phil. Okay. Oh, I better put my activator down. Kelly just uses a tile and puts the activator on there. That way, when she's done, she can just clean off the tile and reuse it. Yeah, it's an easy way to do it. And then she takes a plain, plain playing card a little activator on there and lightly spreads it over the paints and then wipes the card off well, wipes the card off between swipes but that's what we're trying to get a bunch of different colored cells seems so weird to have these gloves on. It's so strange. Okay. Ah, I didn't want to do that. I can't do it that way. I should know better. I got to turn it around. Okay, here we go. You know, when you're only right-handed, you can't do things going the opposite direction. We're not getting a, a real good reaction on that part of it. No, because I went too deep. Okay. That's why. All right. That was the problem, Phil. Wait, okay, so you, you swipe too deep or too hard, you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So you just gently want to swipe over the top of the... Very gently, paint. yeah, it's okay. very gently. Right. I, I could feel it as soon as I okay. did it. That you gotta do that. And people, I'm telling you, my allergies, they're just bad. They're bad, bad, bad here. Ha ha. There we go. Ha ha. Now that's a swipe right there. Look at all those colored cells, that's what we're looking for. That's exactly what we're looking for. Exactly. It's gonna be another good one. Mm -hmm. So, my Etsy shop is open, in case any new subscribers don't know about it. You can go on, it's KathleenLimited.com. Kathleen Limited, K-A-T-H-L-E-E-N-L-T-D, -E -E one word. And you can shop around in there and look. And um, there's a direct link to her Etsy shop in the description box. And also I have a pop-up that'll take you directly there. We have links for Color Art Primary Elements. We have links for KS Resin. And we have links for Arteza. And they all give you nice discounts. 
So feel free to use those links and save some money. I have some rivers going where I got to cover those up before we do anything. Okay, we'll talk about that once you get it swiped. Right tail, and then we'll go back and do our rivers. Yeah, it always takes a little while when you have a canvas this size. So don't be in a big hurry to swipe because you want to make sure that you get all your colors. Right. Well, the swiping is such an important step. It's not something you can just do Hurry as, up. You know, as quickly as possible just to get it done. Um, That's what you don't want. See, now this red area is an area that Kathy is going to have to repair because you don't want the cell the activator wasn't swiped over that area. So you don't want to leave areas like that on the canvas unless you want a big red blob somewhere on the canvas. Well, it just, it expands so much right. that that's what you don't want. You don't want it to expand. So that's, I mean, some people might want those big gaps, but I, I don't like the big gaps. Bill can tell you I'm not too keen on the big gaps. everybody's having a great day today. I know I am. Phil is. He's, uh, I don't know what he's doing. He was uploading something. I don't know what he's doing. I was doing. working on some videos, doing the uploading and the editing and so forth, which is fun. I enjoy that. I'm glad you do because that would not be for me. I would be sitting there swearing at that computer because, oh my... As you notice, Kathy is wiping after every swipe. And the reason for that is you don't want to leave any of the paint that's been picked up from the swipe to interfere with the cell activator that she's putting on yeah, the card. Yeah, you, you so have to. It's the cell activator by itself that you want swiped over the canvas, not any, any of the paint, paint residue, because that'll just muddy it up. And I know some of our subscribers and people that have watched said they're having trouble with some muddying and so forth trying this process. And that might be one of the problems is not keeping a clean card for your cell activator. Yeah, it's got to be cleaned every time. So uh, again, every little thing is important in this process. And, and you know... I. If you have any questions, please ask me. I mean, feel free to ask me because um, I, if you follow the way I do it, you're going to get creations that are really close to mine, if not better. Well, I yeah, mean, we've seen some of the, some people have sent us um, some of their paintings that they've done with uh, this process that Kathy uses and they're amazing and they're amazing they're beautiful so we're very happy to see that because it's such a fun way of doing it but again you have to use the right products quality products and also the right techniques in every stage in order to get um, a nice result yeah you just you can't skimp Okay, now to go back for the rivers. Okay. So. And we have some rivers, so we're going back on the rivers. Okay, let's do these rivers. Okay, where is one that you're going to work these on? These are so my river show. cards. That's okay. what I use for my rivers. I'm going to go right there. Oh, okay. As you can see, there's a, what we call, Kathy calls a river there, that 
the cell activator didn't do its thing. So she simply goes over it again, and voila, we have cells. See, I mean, you can go over it. It's not going to hurt it. As long as you do it gently. But I mean, if you, if I you like those a, rivers. A river all along, sort of here and there, Gotti. Where are you going? All oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, that right. I don't want to touch it. I can't, I can't. Yeah, don't touch it. Yeah, right. I know. I see it. There and we then go. And you see one directly across from it. It's not a very. I big know. I got to go on the other there. side. I got to get this side first because there's a couple of them that I don't really like. So we're gonna fix that up right now. I just love. Even at this stage, looking at all the colors in the cells that have appeared. I mean, look at the brightness that we, Kathy, got from those mixtures of pigments and paints. Just beautiful. It is pretty amazing what you can come up with. But like I said, you, this is a process that you can't, you can't speed through because there's just no sense to it. So if you don't have time to do this, make time because it's very, very important. Well, and if you do a smaller canvas like a, I don't know what, a 12 by 12 or, or a 10 by 10. 10 by 10 or so, yeah. it doesn't take that long. No. It's just when you're doing, this is what it. 10 by 20, did you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah when you're doing a 10 by 20, and it does take quite a bit of time. And if you want to fast forward, you can, but you might miss something that, you know, Phil and I are going to talk about. Because you never <laughs> know what we're going to come up with. You never know. Uh, well, you know everything I say is so informative. <laughs> <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> and I'm right 100% of the time. Mm. You know, I'm just going to zip it and take the fifth because I can pretend I'm Judge Judy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Good old uh, Judge Don't be Judy. Judge Judy. I'll be, I'll be uh, in contempt of court. <laughs> you would be. I love good old Judge Judy. She's one of my faves to watch. She just tells it like it is. Okay, so now what I gotta do is I gotta go over here for a minute and get this whole thing that I don't like. I don't like it. Now I'm going to go right there. Ooh, this is going to be, I can, I can already see, this is going to be so, so colorful. Ooh, is this going to be pretty? It should be. It should be it's very be colorful. really pretty. Phil is playing laundry well, boy today. His laundry just dinged. That kind of messed up. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. It'll be fine, Phil. You wait and see. We're going to fix it. I gotta fix this first. And then we'll go back and fix it. Gosh, my thumb is so sore. Ah! But like I said, you know, take your time, make your cell activator. Um, fresh. Yeah, the fresher, the better. If you don't have time to use it right away, don't make it. Don't even consider making it. If you're not, if you're not going to do a, a painting like for two days, don't make your cell activator because you're not going to get a lot of the stuff. Okay. I think I'm almost ready. Almost. Almost. Not quite yet, Phil. 
so just don't get too antsy yet. I'm not antsy. I know, I know you have to make sure that I have it's it the done way I like properly it. because you don't want to spend all this time and then not have it turn out exactly as best as it possibly can. Just let me take one more gander here. I think we're seeing one more thing. And so tell them what you're looking for when you're What I'm of... looking for is my rivers. Oh, okay. Like this, I like a little bit more cells in that area because when I spin it, it is going to expand. And I don't want those big river gaps. That's what I'm looking for. Like okay. if, if I don't do this, we're gonna have a, a huge expansion. And it's okay, but it's just not my thing. So that's why I like to bring it up with the um, cell activator. But we're almost ready. We're getting there. We're getting there. And like I said, go my house paint that I use for my um, base is from Walmart. And it is the Color Place White Satin. It's the white interior, and on the bottom of the can, it's going to say satin. That is what I use. And you just try to put an even layer of that on the canvas to Correct. start out with. Correct. You don't want it too thick. You don't want it too thin. Um, the reason I don't show it a lot is because some of the comments were, um, do you have to always show your base because it takes up a lot of, of time? And it, it does. So I had a lot of people ask me that. So I said to Phil, you know what, we're going to take that out. And um, I'm just going to tell them. Well, you have a lot of videos where you show, do show it, uh, putting the base on. Yeah, so, so if you're interested in that, just check out a few other videos. We've got lots of cool videos out there that we had fun making. So. Don't hesitate to look back at some of our other videos. We have over 250 videos in the library of Kathy's channel. I know it's so funny because some people will say, oh, I love the video and um, that you had. Uh, my comment is, I don't know what video, unless you give me the number, I'm not gonna know what it is. So, okay, okay I'm gonna wreck. We're on to the wrecking. I reckon we're on to the wreck and fill. But I'm going to wreck this time. I'm going to use two different wreckers. Okay. I'll show them. You have one, uh, like a popsicle stick that you use to do the wrecking. And then I and have then you my have skewer. your pointy uh, skewer type stick. So, okay. So it, this will be good because they can see the different types of wrecking lines that occur. So that was with the popsicle stick. Correct. Okay. And we don't have any equator to go over. <laughs> okay, that's with my popsicle stick. As you can see, it makes some really cool like flowery type things. Now this is this pointy stick that she's using, and it makes Completely different composition compositions and yeah, I love doing these. They're so fun, and you can do as many as you want. You don't have to do any. It's up to you. Whatever you want to it do. It really adds a, a lot of interest here and there to the painting. And, and my feeling is you don't want to overdo it, but if you have a few here and there, it uh, enhances. Now, if this was a smaller one, I, I would not be doing this many because right. you want right. to see your cells. Right. So that's, that's all okay. I'm doing. Cool. Okay, so you've 
drizzled, you've swiped, you've wrecked, and now we're in for a spin. No, spin a roo. Spin a roo. There's that wrecking area, wrecked area. Okay. Okay, let her rip. Abra, <laughs> cadabra, please, please, please. Okay. Enough, Kathy. I don't Kathy, know if you have just, to go too fast with the one. This. Enough, Kathy. Just spin it. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get some of that paint off there because there's well, quite know. a bit of paint. I know. And you know what's gonna make my day? I can take my gloves off and I have paint on my hands. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. Oh, oh wow! Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Just look at this area here. Holy cow! Oh man, is this cool? This is so cool. I gotta I, go the opposite I know. way. Not too hard though, I don't think, because... No, I'm not. Oh, I don't think that was hard enough though. No. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me with going the left way, it's ridiculous. It's like I don't have any strength. Wow, this thing turned out, is turning out fabulous. Look at those wrecking lines. Oh. And as you can see, the expansion of the cells. Remember they had a bunch of little bitty colored cells? How uh, they've all expanded. Here's one of the wrecking lines with the popsicle stick. And then you have a thinner one with, uh, with the here. pointy stick and so forth. So you get, you know, different effects with uh, different, different sticks. Now, are you going to spin it anymore? This thing has turned out I don't think I'm going to because it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> I did it, I did it. I'm happy. Abracadabra worked. Mm -hmm. My magic worked. Another thing I like is how sort of the black runs through the, the middle. middle of the canvas. And then you've gotten all the beautiful colored cells uh, in the other areas along with the wrecking and so forth. So, wow, this, this, this is really pretty. Super pretty. This is really, really pretty. Yeah. I am really excited with this. Oh my God, I'm it's just so, so excited. hard to get the whole thing in at once to show you, but it's just. I'm so excited. Out super. <sighs> okay, everybody. You, I know you can do this. You saw me do this. You, you watch me. You can do it. Don't be afraid to mix your colors, please. You can see the line here that I have. Just. Mix your colors. I think Don't, you said there were 18 different colors, There's right? 18 different colors in this okay. painting. And, um, uh, you know, the color art pigments that you use are fabulous. Um, a variety of different paints. And just look at the, the vibrancy and the color you get out of that. Um, those quality paints and pigments. It's, it's amazing. I am so, so excited. So, please subscribe to our channel. Um, if you have subscribed, thank you very much. We love all of you. If you haven't subscribed, this is what you can learn, and it's fun. Um, I don't know what else I can tell you about it. If you have questions, please ask me. I, I'm there all the time to answer them. And um, just have fun. Just have fun. I have fun all the time. So until the next time, um, go to my Etsy shop, though, too, because Phil uh, put a few new things on there. And shop till you drop. <laughs> and uh, until the next time, everybody, I hope you stay healthy, stay safe, stay well, and just enjoy yourself painting. It's only paint. So until the next time, bye.